Battle. Oh, what's up, everyone? Enadzuki here, and I got a gameplay for you of me on Smite once again. We're going to be playing this game, and we're going to be playing as on her. Um, so a lot of people really don't know how uh, you're supposed to play this game. So I'll kind of give you like a little walkthrough of uh, pretty much the starting point uh, from then on. Uh, so from the start, you are given 1,500 gold and um, uh, one skill point. Uh, with that gold, you go into the store, which is this right here. I'm not sure if you can see my mouse, but uh, it's this all this right here. And you go in, and there's different tabs. There's physical, magical, defense, and other. Um, so everything is divided up into whatever it gives you. Uh, since I'm... Uh, I don't know if you can tell. I don't know how you can tell, actually. But um, I'm a physical uh, I'm a physical attacker, so I need stuff that gives me like power. So I go in here. I already have my whole setup uh, already... Uh, thought out and everything and uh, I bought Fatalis which is something I need um, because I have really low attack speed which uh, it's, I don't know, it's kind of uh, weird to say but whatever um, but pretty much uh, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna pick a side you know you're gonna buy your stuff pick a side and then uh, run over there I'm gonna be heading over with uh, Ymir over here and uh, uh, like I said earlier you get one skill point and uh, these are your, uh, you get four skills for every god or whatever god you're playing as so uh, right now I'm on her I have um, uh, shifting sands which is a giant obelisk comes up from the ground slows down my enemies and increases my attack I have oop, wrong one uh, what was it okay uh, I have impale which I throw a spear and it impales the enemies uh, travels through minions and hits gods and stuns them if they hit a wall for two seconds and I have disperse which is a pretty much a big pounce that I can do uh, I go for impale first uh, that's usually how I run, and uh, it's pretty powerful, I think. it's uh, As you can see, it's this uh, line in front of me. That is how far it goes, and that is how far it, uh, that's how far it travels and everything. And it knocks back the enemy god, so uh, if you can hit them, if you can uh, hit the god, that's good. If you can hit them and uh, make them hit a wall with the knockback, that's even better, because uh, then they actually get stunned for like two seconds. Uh, so pretty much... At the beginning of the game, from level like one through ten, you're gonna be um, in these sort of like lanes. There are there's middle right here, left and right. Obviously, I'm in right lane, and you kind of you kind of just like uh, tease each other. You tease each side, and uh, you just kind of. See if I get this. Oh, I got the stun on him, but uh, not good enough. Uh, but anyways, uh, you're pretty much gonna be staying in your lane for a little bit. This Amir's gonna die. Yep. And Nothing I could have done about that. <laughs> but uh, you're gonna stay in your uh, lane for about. Uh, from like level 1 through 10 then people kind of start uh, dispersing uh, as you saw there though I just leveled up so I'm gonna be uh, going through and uh, picking whatever I want these guys are kind of aggressive so I'm gonna be going for uh, disperse because I like using that to get away and I'll show you my little trick with uh, leap uh, leaps uh, if you're a uh, god or uh, whatever you have and these are tips that go for any sort of MOBA game and uh, uh, you know it, it'll help you be a better uh, MOBA player uh, I, have, I have a commentary coming out, or not coming out, but I have a commentary planned out uh, where uh, I talk about MOBA gaming and stuff and how it's becoming the way of the future, actually. I might talk about uh, talk about it a little bit during the uh, this live commentary, but um, I'm probably not going to because I can't really focus that much and talk at the same time. It's something I'm, uh, most people aren't actually very good at. Also, uh, I'm recording right now with Fraps, so that drops my F uh, that drops my FPS from about 100 to about 20, and which is a big drop. So, um, uh, so yeah, I'm I'm lagging while I'm doing this, and uh, I'm going to try I'm going to try and remember to uh, uh, hit ho uh, hit uh, my record key so it kind of evens out the audio. Uh, the longer you record with Fraps, the more out of sync it becomes. So uh, you want to you want to keep on resetting it. Oh, he just hit me with that. Uh, but you want to keep on resetting it so you. Uh, uh, so the audio stays in sync as much as possible. Whew. Um, so let's go over some tips and tricks. Um, so right now, uh, let's go over some of the basics. There's a... Uh, Onher's a really good person to explain M uh, MOBA games with. Uh, so his one is the obelisk thing, and that's this giant ring. This giant ring, everyone in there will be slowed on the enemy team. And um, you, everyone inside of that will uh, have, you'll be able to hit them a lot harder uh, for on her specifically. Uh, so basically, I can go over here, I can throw Beware down this, and, uh, and uh, giant obelisk comes up, and everything attack. in there is slowed down, and I do more damage. Right now, I'm doing 51, and now it's dropped to 50. Not that big of a deal um, in the start right now, but uh, that's not that's not something that I have to be worried about. Beware the oh, I missed. Yeah. If we can get this guy, that would be no 
Yeah, got him. Sweet. Ooh, we can get this guy. We can get this guy. This guy just ran way too far. Yeah, he's so dead. He's dead. If he really gets away, yeah. I was going to say, if he really gets away, then I can just ultimate him. But, um... Uh, so there we go. Got a nice double kill there. That's pretty nice. Um... Let's see, what else can we uh, talk about? Oh yeah, so, I should go over uh, each of the moves. Uh, so, again, I had the obelisk thing that you guys saw before, which is, this is uh, called an AOE, which means um, Area of Effect Attack. So, uh, everything in that area is going to be affected, that's what it means. Uh, his two is the Impale one that you saw. It's uh, this one that he throws the spear really hard and it does a lot of damage. Um, that is called a skill shot. A skill shot is something that, um, uh, obviously, it, t it takes, quote-unquote, skill to use, I guess. Um, uh, pretty much that means that uh, it, you have to actually aim it pretty much. Uh, I'm going to say pretty much a lot, I feel like. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. while I'm uh, recording this, so I'm kind of tired, but uh, I, I felt like recording a game. Uh, so, right, oh, wow, I'm in good shape right now. I have almost 2,000 gold and still three mana potions left. So yeah, this is a skill shot. You have to actually aim it. Um, and the last one is slain. his uh, leap. And a leap is special because... Um, you guys kind of saw a glimpse of it earlier. It actually, um, yeah, it's where I jump in the air. Uh, that's where the leap is, obviously. And it knocks back everyone who's in that, who everyone I hit. And it does a little bit of damage, not that much, though. Uh, I don't know what this guy's doing. Oh, that's why. Okay. Oh, good job, Ymir. Get out of there. Good job, good job. That was really good on his part. Um, I'll probably show it in a second. Chances are these guys are going to make me use it. I can, oh, no, the Vimana has buffs. Uh, I'll go over what those little circle things around him are in a little bit, but uh, this is a leap pretty much. You jump in the air, and one of the cool things about leaps is that um, you can actually jump through walls with them, and I don't think it's a glitch. It's in like every MOBA game, I think, so it's like, <laughs> it's, it, it's in every MOBA game, so I don't think it's a glitch. I think it's supposed to be like a tactical thing where it's like, you, you know, it's to get away and stuff. So, fun fact, I'll show in a second, not in a second, but I'll show in a, a little bit uh, where you're uh, even if the wall is too high, you can actually jump over the wall uh, no matter what. So uh, that's pretty awesome. I'll sh you, can, you get some uh, cool T Martin status uh, jump spots that you can get from like one of the buff places. You can go uh, from one of the special monsters in the jungle, and uh, you can go straight to the lane over here. I'm gonna jump way over here though because they're on me right now. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much uh, the reason why I have my jump. Um, one of my tricks with the jump, though, is that I actually I don't level up my jump ever. Um, I, I wait until the last minute, uh, the last level that I can uh, to level it up. Uh, level 15 is the latest you can uh, do, but... Beware the shifting sand. The sand. Ooh, there's the ultimate. Oh, I missed the ultimate. I missed the ultimate. That sucks. Um... What you saw there, actually, I haven't gone over yet, is my um, ultimate attack. And your ultimate is your uh, is always your four, and that's uh, that's the one that does the most damage, or it's supposed to do the most damage, and it's supposed to be the most devastating uh, to whatever it's supposed to be doing. Uh, mine is that I throw my spears uh, rapidly, and uh, pretty much they uh, destroy. They don't. They don't. Act, they're not actually that powerful. Uh, the problem with the spear, with the ultimate. Um, with on her's ultimate is that uh, you have to actually hit all of them for them to do a lot of damage. Uh, but when you actually get your ultimate um, fully leveled up, all the way up from like level one to level five, they do like they do like a hundred damage per. And there's about like uh, there's there's probably more than like ten. There's maybe like ten to fifteen somewhere somewhere like that. And uh, it can do a lot of damage, but you have to hit every single one of them. Uh, Ymir over here, Ymir, Ymir, whatever his name is, he actually, um, his ultimate is where he, uh, he, uh, goes on the ground, and you see that little, like, that red ring that was, like, around everywhere. I'll point it out, uh, next time it happens, but, uh, there's, like, a red ring that goes around him, and then you, uh, and he pretty much, oh my god. He's gonna do it right, yeah, it's right there, that's what his ultimate is right there. Uh, it's pretty easy to dodge. The only problem is that you you're actually slowed when you're in it. So uh, other than that, it's not that bad to dodge. I still have <laughs> I'm level 10 and I still haven't been back to the uh, <laughs> to the store. That's so funny. Uh, it's not uh, that's not something that happens very often actually. Is this kid really pushing me? Okay, I'll just beware the shifting sands. The ultimate. Oh no, I'm out of mana. That is depressing. I keep on running out of mana. 
Um, so anyways, what was I talking about? Ooh, the mono over there is almost dead. <laughs> there was no reason to push that Ymir. He was actually, he was going to get away. Um, one of the things that uh, when you, you start getting better at MOBA games, you can actually notice when people are going to start getting away more often. So it's like, uh, these guys, they're, they're definitely going to get away. There's, there's no doubt about it. Um, I haven't gone over where those towers are. Um, as you can see on the minimap over here, there's uh, two towers in each lane, uh, two and left, two, uh, two middle and two right. And uh, because uh, through that, uh, you're actually trying to defend those. There we go, got the another kill. And kind of a kill steal, but who cares? Uh, it's all, it's all good. Uh, but through those, uh, you're supposed to get through their defenses, and then there's three phoenixes, um, one in each lane, and uh, you go through those, and then you get finally to the minotaur. Once you get to the minotaur, you win. Um, let's see what I can go for. I can actually, I can fully buy something. That's pretty awesome. That's always pretty good when you can fully buy uh, something without even having to wait. Uh, so let's see. Uh, what I just bought there. Where is it? It's right here. Uh, first of all, I finished my Fatalis. Uh, Fatalis gives me 35% more attack speed. It gives me 10% more movement speed. So basically, you attack faster, you move faster, and my abilities cool down 20% faster. So that's um, always going to be a good thing. Uh, the next thing I bought was the Executioner. With that, I get 30% physical power. I get 20% 20, 20 more attack speed, so I'm getting faster and faster with my attack speed. Uh, that's one of the big flaws of on her, and I kind of I try to address that as much as I can. Um, but uh, as you can see right now, I'm attacking a lot faster than I did before. Um, uh, what, oh yeah, and also every time I hit someone, I drop their armor by um, 20 points, and that stacks up to three times. So I can drop their armor. You know, it's, it's not a huge amount, but when it gets to end game, that uh, dropping their armor uh, by you know 60 points or uh, that, that that becomes a lot actually. Uh, it becomes a lot of help, uh, really helpful. Uh, so Ymir over here is going to try and gank us, but that's not going to work. Maybe it'll work. Uh, okay. I'll lag. Okay, we're going to try and slow these guys down. Oh, I almost got him. That's depressing. Um... <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. Oh yeah, I can drop, I can reduce the armor now. Whatever, I, whenever I do a basic attack, which is basically me throwing a spear, uh, whenever that happens, I uh, drop their, I drop their defenses even more. So that's always a helpful thing. This guy's gonna try and freeze me, but chances are he's stupid. <laughs> yep, he's dead. Yep, there we go. And if we get lucky, if Mana pushes us, uh, oh no, he just dropped him back. That's, that's a good call on his part. He's gonna die. Uh, uh, so yeah, pretty much I dropped their defenses. As you can see, though, I uh, killed uh, Ymir a lot easier than I did before. Obviously, uh, you can look at Ymir and you can tell that he's a big, bulky dude, and uh, because of that, he has a lot of HP. I think like he literally has like 2,000 like, HP. Oh Jesus, that's bad. I'm gonna get out of here because he's using his ultimate where he turns into a giant baby thing. And he, as you can see, Ymir is getting destroyed and he's gaining health from that, so uh, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm gonna drop back because uh, that guy was gonna kill me. Uh, the thing around his. Um, the thing around him that that you can see in the background right now, not the background, but you can see Vamana back there. He has a Your red glow around him, like a little red circle. Uh, that red circle means he has a damage buff on, so he does uh, more damage than um, he normally would. This gets stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get him! Oh my god! I I, I don't understand some people. Uh, hold on, give me a second. <laughs> 